Hello, YouTube. I'm trying to get this thing uh, situated. I think I'm live. I've never done this before. Um, let me see y'all. Okay, I think I am good. So, hello. Uh, if you don't know who I am, my name is Echo, and I'm a solo over on the Poshmark and Mercari apps. And I'm here today to uh, show you guys uh, something really exciting. Um, this thing, this kind of thing um, never happens to me. Um, so I'd say in the last like couple weeks, um, my friend whose name I won't divulge, I'll call her M. So my friend M contacted me and said, hey, I have some clothing that I no longer want. Um, would you like it to try and sell it? And I was like, well, of course, you know, great you know, uh, free inventory is, is always awesome. And, um, I, I never get inventory for free. So, um, yeah, definitely. So I guess she mentioned that she was giving me some stuff to, um, a friend of hers who I've never met or spoken with. And that friend, um, is what you would call a clothes horse. Um, I guess she has like hundreds and hundreds of pieces of clothing that she's kind of collected over the years. And she decided that um, she wanted to finally kind of go through all of her clothing and um, pull stuff to give to me, um, which is amazing. So um, I drove down to San Diego this morning, um, which is about a 150 uh, square uh, round trip, 150 miles round trip. Sorry, I actually didn't sleep last night because I was so excited. <laughs> um, but yeah, so about, you know, I don't know, like three hours total driving, which isn't bad at all. Um, so when I got there, there were, I, I think probably at least 15, like full, large trash bags full of clothes and, um, and then some like tote bags and, you know, um, and duffel bags and things that were all so full. So my, um, my Honda Accord right now is completely stuffed full of bags of clothing. Um, so I, I thought I would, um, bring a couple bags up a time at a time. I cannot talk today. I'm so sorry. Um, bring a couple bags up to my apartment at a time, kind of arranging this so you can maybe see a little bit more. Um, and doing a live haul, um, I, I have not looked in any of the bags. I have been super well behaved. Um, I'm really excited to see what's in them. Um, the only thing I really know is that most of the clothing, if not all of it is, um, between sizes 12, um, to 18, most of it being 16 and 18, which is really exciting because I don't have a whole lot of plus size clothing in my closet right now. So, I'm, um, I'm really looking forward to what kind of widening my, my selection of plus size clothes. So, um, yeah, I haven't looked at anything. I have no idea what's in here. So I'm not going to be doing comps for, for most stuff because, um, I think a lot of it's like vintage and it's probably going to be brands that I've never heard of. Um, so comps will have to come later, you know, when I've actually done some research and looked up things. Um, sorry, I look like a bit of a hot mess. Um, my hair is doing like weird little curly Q things, which is interesting because I have straight hair, apparently not down here. Anyway, um, so I'm just going to dive right in because I am so excited. Um, yeah, like I said, this has never happened to me. I, I feel so incredibly lucky um, that they chose me to, to give their their items to. And even if I only get, you know, five to fifteen dollars per item, there's a lot of items. So it does add up quickly. Um so yeah, I'm just going to dive right in. Hold on, my, my cat is trying to chew my my new tape dispenser. I got this really cute unicorn tape dispenser. It came with a roll of rainbow tape, which I've already used. But anyway, um, so yeah, let's just get right on in here. So these are still um, tied shut and everything. So I'm, I have two bags here with me that I brought up to my apartment. So I'll just dive right into the first item and again I have no idea what's going to be in here okay so the first item is kind of an ivory or off-white um knit sweater it's 
kind of a good basic. This is by White Stag Women's. Um, looks like the, here, I'll show you the, the tag. Um, the size tag is cut out, but that's okay because I still, I'll still sell it. Um, now this item does have some staining. It almost looks like like water staining or something. I don't know if you're going to be able to to see that, but kind of like yellowish staining. So I might um, use like a, a bleach solution and um, and see if I can get it off with that. Um, okay, next. Item is looks like a purple polo shirt. Okay, this sun is really intense. I'm gonna go out of frame for just a second so I can close my blinds a little bit because I'm seeing a bit of a glare. One second. I have a window like right behind me here. Okay, I think that's better. I don't have a fancy lighting kit or anything. Um, I'm actually getting one next month, um, which I'm really looking forward to. So anyway, um, why do I still have that glare? What are you, what are you doing? Okay, maybe that'll be better, I don't know. Okay, so purple polo shirt. And this is by Haynes, it's Stedman by Haynes Adult Medium. So not plus size. And this is, um, has embroidery for Faulkner Winery in Temecula, California. So maybe um, a wine connoisseur or something, you know, or somebody might like that. Um, looks to be in fairly good condition. I can tell it's, um, it's vintage. Um, I see couple little loose threads maybe and one tiny little like pin dot hole um, there but I'll inspect everything better um, when I get them in to uh, photograph them I swear English is not my friend today okay next we have a pair of Hanes J for J for F. Oh, just for fun. Um, looks like just plain navy sweatpants, size extra large. Um, so these I I may or may not um, sell myself. I might these might get donated, um, but that's okay. I expect there's you know going to be some stuff that. Um, you know, doesn't really have a, a market too much on Posh and Mercari. And again, I have no idea what's in here. So it could be all duds. It could be all treasures. Could be a mix. I have no idea. But hopefully there's some good stuff. So, okay, next one is a soft um, kind of holiday sweater. And this is by Classic Elements, which I haven't really heard of, but it sounds like maybe something from like a department store or something, um, size XL or an 18, and it has this really cute kind of snowflake embroidery. So that's cute, it looks like it's in good condition, so I can probably sell that. It might sit a bit, you know, until people start shopping for Christmas, but that's cool. Okay, I'm gonna, do I need to clean my camera? Where is the camera on this side? I'm like not technologically advanced. Okay, there it is. <laughs> One second. I know this is like the most unprofessional thing ever. I don't know if, hold on. I don't know if that's why I'm getting clear. Okay. Maybe that'll be better. We will see. So sorry about that. Um, next. We have, what are you? Um, some sort of like very graphic-y shirt. Uh, this is by Delta Pro Weight and it's a uh, size extra large. There's that. And this is, um, this is kind of cool because it has graphics on the front and the back. So on the front, you have that. I'm gonna hold things a uh, Courtney or common tag style. It's easier, okay. So it looks like it's like maybe hunting themed. 
Um, and it says Mossy Oak brand camo. So it's like an advertising piece. Um, yeah, that's cool. And then the back has just kind of like a, like a nature print to it. So, um, yeah, I'm gonna have to look this one up. I don't, I don't know. It's kind of interesting. I think the, the cool thing about, you know, getting a big lot like this is that you don't, you have no idea what you're going to get. And, um, obviously some or a lot of it is going to be things that, you know, I wouldn't necessarily pick up at, um, a thrift store or, or when I'm, um, you know, when I'm sourcing, but it's kind of cool to, you know, have some variety. Okay. So this next one is by Gildan Ultra Blend. It's a size extra large. Um, and it just says stitch on the front and then on the back it says push in theaters 2009. So is the movie called stitch or push? I don't know. Stitch, push, push, stitch. I don't know. Um, yeah, we'll have to look it up. It has, looks like it has a little tiny stain right there, but I might be able to remove that. Um, oh, and there's a lot of stains down there too. That's okay. That'll probably get donated, but that's okay. Sorry, I had a piece of fuzz in my mouth. Okay, next up. We have what looks like another pair of just plain sweats. These ones are kind of a light gray. Um, and these are by Fruit of the Loom. They're size medium. They have pockets, which is kind of cool. Um, so these will probably get donated as well. Just because um, unless it's like a higher end brand like Lulu, uh, Lululemon or something like that, um, I don't think plain sweats, um, would, would do very well, um, on Posh or Mercari. And these have some, some pilling on them, but they're a good basic to go to Goodwill. Okay. I feel like, I feel like this was her, um, her husband's bag. Cause I know most of these aren't her sizes. Um, I know we're starting off kind of boring. Sorry about that. Oh, and the other cool thing is that um, she said like the 15 plus bags that she gave me today is only the tip of the iceberg, which is kind of amazing. And my camera is crooked. That's going to bug me. There we go. Um, so she said she has like two more closets and a room and a garage full of stuff um, to also go through and then shoes and purses and jewelry and all sorts of things so I'm like super stoked um so okay next item is this orange polo just a basic polo um and this is by Cherokee it's the ultimate polo size large um I'm guessing that's a women's large because that's like super small to be men's Yeah, probably, probably a woman's, um, a little bit of fuzz, but so yeah, I'll, I'll have to look that up and, and see if, um, that's worth throwing on Mercari and or Posh. Okay. I like the look of this. This is cool. So next we have an Argyle sweater. It's just by Marona. It's, but it's a double XL, which is a great size. Um, and it looks to be in good condition. There's a little bit of like pilling and like gathering of, um, like loose fuzz, um, in the underarm area, but I'm pretty sure I can get that off with my sweater shaver and it is cotton rayon and nylon. So I'll probably throw that up for, you know, 15 bucks even though sweater season is coming to an end. Okay, next we have, ooh, something Disney. Okay, that's cool. 
So this is, I can already tell this is vintage because this is an older Disney store tag. So there's the tag. It's a size large and it's this um, dark teal. It's showing up lighter, but it's a bit darker than, than what it looks like. Um, little sweater pullover and it has Tigger on it. And he's all done in like embroidery. And then um, on the back here has that. And it says a perfect place. So that's kind of cool. I like that. I love selling Disney. I actually worked at Disneyland for um, about seven and a half years full time. And I'm a huge Disney nerd. Um, always have been. So I enjoy selling it. So that'll probably get listed unless I find some major flaw, which I didn't see anything. So that's cool. Okay, next, what do we have? Something gray. Okay, so it looks like we have a ribbed turtleneck. Just doing the, doing the thing with the neck. Okay, okay here we go. And this is Faded Glory, and it's a double XL or a 20. And again, just kind of a good basic piece. Um, just at first glance, I don't see anything wrong with it. Um, it looks like it might have come with a belt because on each side there's a little, a little loop here, but I'll just note that in the description, so. Not a problem. That's probably another $15. Hi, Pippin. Okay. This looks like another pair of, um, well, these are like lighter weight, but kind of sweatpant jogger things. Um, oh, and they have the ankle strap. So those are probably a bit on the vintage side. <laughs> or at least dated, um, that's kind of funny. Um, and this is by Honors, it's size large, and it's polyester cotton and spandex. Um, so again, these will probably get donated, which again, is fine by me. I enjoy being able to, to donate that, especially when it's good usable stuff. And next item is, a little short sleeve sweater with some almost like like cable knit down the front. Um, this is by White Stag and it's a size large. Um, where was it? Um, it looks like this does have quite a bit of pilling and wear. So I'm, I'm probably going to donate this as well. It's, it's definitely still wearable, but, um, I don't think for, for something that's, um, this low of a dollar value that I want to put in a lot of time sweater shaving it. So, but that'll be a good, um, piece for somebody. Okay. Next we have another white stag item. This is size large that and this is just a ribbed kind of thicker uh, knit t-shirt kind of a maroon color um, I might throw this up for you know 10 15 dollars it looks to be in in good condition so we shall see and as always I'm so sorry about my squeaky chair I really need to replace it. It bugs the absolute crap out of me. Okay, next one is a little holiday mock neck sweater. It's black and just has, um, it's like a cardinal with some holly or mistletoe. And this is by Nutcracker and it's a size X. I don't know what size X is. Is that 10 or is it meant to be like extra large? I don't know, but it'll get um, measured anyway. So it's fine. There's the tag. So yeah, that I don't see anything wrong with that one. So that should go up. 
even if it's only for 15 20 bucks i'm still happy with that this free inventory is the best inventory not always but you know it's always much appreciated okay here we have a fun pair of plaid shorts that i am just doing up real quick so they're not like flapping open okay there we go okay so these look to be like women's shorts super fun kind of plaid print these will be great for spring and summer um again they're just by morona nothing crazy size 18 though so it's a great size um and yeah they look to be in really good condition um there's the back i like the color combination those are cool um so yeah i'll give those a shot probably another 15 bucks for those Okay, here we have a pair of black jeans. And these are Riders by Lee. Let me see, what size are you? You are no size. You have no size anywhere. You're size free. Okay, well that's okay, because again, I always measure everything, so. Um, but yeah, so just a pair of black pants. My arms are not long enough to show you the bottoms, but they're just, um, I don't know, maybe like a mom, mom jean, a straight leg or wide leg, not really sure. Um, I don't know if all riders are like the same style or if there's different style of riders, not sure. Um, but yeah, I'll see how these do. I can always use jeans. When it comes to jeans and like kind of bread and butter um, brands like Lee, you know, um, oftentimes people have like their favorite style or their favorite color and they're always looking for more. So that's kind of fun. Okay, this looks really interesting. What are you, my friend? Um, okay, so this is a vest. Um, yeah. This is really kind of cool actually let me just button the top button and the bottom button so you can at least sort of get an idea i'm not sure what to call this like boho or i don't really know this is like super interesting looking though um i will show you in just a second okay here we go so it's this fun kind of I would call it like fall colors and this side's doing something funky. Stop it. Behave. Okay. Yeah, you get the idea. Um, so yeah, it has some like kind of aztec -y print on it. And then somewhere I saw a llama or llama-ish creature right there. Um, it's completely like knit. There's a camel. Um, yeah, I've never quite seen anything like this. Um, there's the back. It's actually kind of like really interesting and cool. Like take like a really kind of unique, uh, quirky person to, to rock this, you know, with like some skinnies or something. Um, it's by Claire Bois. Maybe Claire, Claire Bois, Claire, Claire, Bo Claire Bois. Um, I don't know. Size extra large imported tapestry. Um, I don't know what, it doesn't say what the tapestry is made of. It just says dry clean only. So um, this is definitely something I'm going to have to do some research on. Um, it looks really well made. Like all the different little squares. Um, some of them are like different fabric or they have like contrasting fabric. Um, it looks to be in really good condition. I don't see any holes or stains or anything like that. Um, and even the buttons are really cool. Look at that. I don't know if they're like real wood or... They kind of look like it, but um, yeah, this is like really interesting piece. I kind of like that. So very cool. I'm gonna have to do some research on that and see if that is anything or or not anything. Okay, second bag. I know so far there hasn't been anything like earth shattering or anything, but. I'm not expecting anything like super high end or anything like that, but it's just kind of fun to, to show people what I'm getting. 
Okay. Um, so this is a, I don't know, like, like a pencil skirt maybe. And it has this gorgeous, like almost paisley design. It's really pretty. And then that border at the bottom. Um, and on the back in the middle, it has a slit. feels really nice almost like velvety um so this is briggs new york and it's an 18w mm, there you go that looks kind of funky but there you go um so yeah i'll i'll give this a go this is nice looking kind of funky so that's cool it looks like it's in great condition Okay, what, what else? Ooh, ooh, this is a lot of tropical print, my goodness. What are you? Oh, okay. I think this is a, I think this is a dress that's just not buttoned. So let me do at least a couple buttons so you can kind of get an idea. If I can find a buttonhole, there's a, there's a buttonhole, okay. I know what I'm doing, really. I really don't. I just pretend. I'm like, I don't know, I just work here. And live here. Okay, come on. Sorry, this thing is really long. And bright. Okay, here we go. Might be able to get a better idea now. Um, do the collar. To do okay so it's very long it buttons down all the way um it's like a like a maxi or a mini no it's a maxi um and it has this beautiful like floral tropical print on it with like palm tree leaves in like orange and red and then pink flowers it's absolutely gorgeous and then it has this cool detail with the buttons and the straps on the back um it is by california crush crush with a k size extra large so not a brand i am familiar with but i expected that for this haul to you know a lot of like new to me brands so um yeah this is really really cool um it has like mother of pearl buttons on it so yeah, I will have to do some research on that. That's really pretty. I think that'd be great for like a summer Hawaiian, um, Hawaiian wedding. Okay, next. We have another long dress. This one is black and it has um, this cool embroidery um, kind of across the the chest or maybe just under the bust depends on where your bust rests I guess um, and then again it has the embroidery down at the bottom and then the back just has a few buttons it looks to be on just first glance it looks to be in good condition um, this is by white stag again and it is oh, okay 50 55% linen and 45% rayon. So linen's always nice. There's that. So yeah, that'll be cool for spring or summer. It's nice, I like that. Okay. Next up, ooh, this is vintage. Goodness. Alrighty. So we have a teal skirt. Um, I'm guessing this is from either the, the 80s or the 90s. Um, hmm. So it's just this teal skirt. Again, it has a small slit in the back. Um, looks to be in really good condition. This one is by Sag Harbor Women. Yeah, this is definitely an older tag. <laughs> uh, size 18W. Um, 
So there's that, that older style tag. But um, it looks to be in good condition, so yeah, I'll probably list it. Why not? Doesn't cost anything to list, except a little bit of time. Oh, come here. What are you? Okay. This looks like another skirt. I know my friend did say there's um, quite a bit of um, like career wear in here. Um, but this one has a busted zipper, so I'm not going to bother. So that will get donated because somebody might be able to fix that. Just not me. I'm not that crafty. But there's that. Just a plain, simple black skirt which will get donated. And next we have um, another black skirt. Okay, what are you? Um, this is Romans, it's a size 20 W. That, and yeah, it's just a, a simple black skirt. Um, does it have a slit on the back or? It does have a slit on the back, but then it's um, attached at the bottom. It looks like it's just a simple um, X stitch. Um, there's that. So you can totally undo that if you want. So um, what are you made out of? You feel funky. I don't know. There's no, I don't see a, I don't see a material tag. Oh, it's down here. Just kidding. I lied. It's here. So this is 100% polyester. Okay. Eh. Um, I don't know. I'll look up this brand and, and see how it does. Um, but yeah, I, I, I kind of always hesitate to, uh, to list plain black items. Um, not because they don't sell, but because they can be incredibly difficult to photograph. I'm sure some of you know what I mean. It's just if they don't have any kind of contrasting detail or any colors or anything on them, um, they tend to just kind of come out as black silhouettes or shadows. So it can be a bit challenging. Oh, this is, this is interesting. Goodness. Okay, so this looks like, um, almost like a, like a track jacket. I think this is vintage. Um, but it's new with tags, so hold on, let me zip it up. This is funky. Um, it almost reminds me of like streetwear or something. Um, so this is actually Alfred Dunner, uh, size 20W, and it is new with tags, and it retailed for $72, so there's the, the tags there. Um, but yeah, check this out. It's, it has like a, like perforation all over it. Um, and it kind of, yeah, it kind of gives off like track jacket vibes. So it has like these tiny little holes everywhere. Um, but yeah, it's new with tags. Um, looks to be in great condition. Um, there are pockets, kind of hidden pockets, but, um, yeah, I'm digging this. This is kind of cool. Like you can totally turn this into like streetwear or something. So yeah, that's that's neat. I'm loving that. Very cool. Okay, what? Ooh, what are you? What in the world? This is gorgeous. Oh my goodness. Ooh. Okay, so I'm. Um. Let me button this. Maybe that'll give it more of an effect. But I love the, um, I love the material on this. This is just so pretty. Um, oh, it's like double breasted. Okay, just give me one second and I will button this up at least a little bit so you can kind of get a feel for it. But I have never quite seen anything like this. This is rather intriguing. Okay, let me see if that gives it better. So it's it's like a vest jacket with like brocade on it. I think that's what it's called. And it's like lavender 
And then the, the base um, is like a shimmery silver. I mean, this is absolutely gorgeous. And then it has, it's like shorter in the, in the front here. And then it has a slit in the back. This is so cool. Um, yeah, I have like, I, I've never seen anything like this. So the brand is Dark Chic, um, dark with a C. And it's a size double XL. Um, but yeah, the, I could see this being like steampunk or something, you know, wearing like some trousers um, underneath and like a parasol or something. This is so cool. I, if I had any creativity with the way I dress at all, I would totally keep this for myself and make an awesome outfit out of it. But I, I don't, so it'll hopefully find a home with someone because this is just stunning. Oh my gosh, I love that. That is so cool. Okay, what else do we have? I see a vest. I see a, a vintage vest. It has staples in the tag. Get out, you. I don't like you. You're not my friend. Okay, there we go. Why did it have two staples? Isn't one enough? Dear Jesus. Okay. Ah, there you go. Okay, so this is an Ardmore um, medium little vest. Definitely vintage. Um, yeah, that's, that's kind of interesting. Um, what are you made out of? Um, looks like rayon, polyester, and acetate, maybe? I don't know, the, um, the care tag is a little, a little faded, but, um, it looks to be in, in good condition. Um, I'll have to look up this, this brand. It's called, again, Ardmore. I've never heard of it. Um, it might be one of those, like, defunct vintage brands, but, eh, I'll look it up. It's kind of, that's different. All right. Something navy. Are you, are you trousers? Maybe, yes, you have legs. Okay. Uh, okay. So these, I don't see a brand on. Do, do, do. Yeah, no brand on these. So they're just navy, um, like work pants or trousers, but they don't have a brand tag. So they will go in the donate pile. Somebody can certainly use those for an interview or for their job. Okay, next we have another item I think that's gonna get donated. Yeah, these are by Kathy Lee and they're um, another pair of uh, navy like work pants or slacks. Um, but these have a lot of pilling on them and Again, I just, I don't have the time or energy or desire to mess with a uh, sweater shaver that much. So those go in the donate pile. Okay, next. Ooh, this looks pretty. What are you, friend? What are you? Okay. Ooh, this is cool. Okay. So this is like a, has like, it's a button up shirt, obviously, and it has like, I don't know what it, I mean it's like roughly but they're like small ruffles and it's like layered ruffles um and then it looks like like a little bit of ruffling at the sleeve here I do see a small stain at the end of the cuff but um I can probably stain treat that and get it out um it is by Foxcroft which I've seen before but I haven't picked up it says Wrinkle-free, shaped fit, size 22W. Um, so yeah, I, really, I like the look of this. This is cool. So there's the tag. Um, so yeah, I will I will try and get that stain out and then hopefully list that because that's really cool looking. I like it. Do, do, do. Ooh, you're soft. What are you? Okay, so this is uh, brand new with tags no boundaries, um, little owl shirt. How cute is this? 
This is adorable. What size are you? It is a double XL or a size 19, I guess, in juniors. Um, so, yeah, I mean, just a Walmart brand, but um, super, super cute. And then the back has um, a split, which I think this is called like a tulip back, if I'm not mistaken. I think that's called the tulip because it's... It, it's shaped like an upside down tulip. Um, but yeah, that's super, super cool. Um, it doesn't retail for much of anything. It retailed for $7.88. So um, I'm not gonna put it on Poshmark because they would take way too much in fees. But I might I might put this on Mercari. Um, I'll see if this is still available and if not, you know, what it's doing in the secondary market. This is like super soft and, and lightweight, so. If it's not worth anything, then it's going to become mine because I really like that. I love owls. Um, so I live here in uh, Irvine, California, which is not exactly known for its wildlife. I don't think, not that I know of. Um, I mean, there's like a few hiking trails and stuff, but it's, you know, it's like suburbia kind of. Um, but once in a while, there's an owl that'll that'll come by my apartment complex and he'll sit in one of the trees that's like right outside my window and, and hoot for a couple hours so that's always nice um i haven't looked out the window to see if i can see him because it's it's kind of pretty dark out there at night but um yeah i don't know what kind of owl it is but i love owls okay so this is a cute little peace sign t-shirt it has some like I don't know, like floral designs on it as well and the peace sign is done in flowers, so that's really cute. And it's by Twisted Courtesy, which I've never heard of. Um, doo -doo -doo. It's an extra large in juniors, 100% cotton. Yeah, I'll look this up and see if it's doing anything. Um, if not, then that'll get donated and somebody will love that. That is super cute. I know that size is not gonna fit me though because extra large juniors is, no. Okay, this is kinda cool. This looks vintage. No, maybe not. It has the double stitch on the on the arm instead of the, the one row of stitching, which um, I learned recently from a couple people that um, if there's just the one line or the one row, then it, it um, might mean it's vintage. Um, Okay, on the back it says Comic-Con 2008. There we go. <laughs> um, anyway, it's kind of this acid wash um, t-shirt, gray. And on the front it has Castle, it says Dark Castle Entertainment. And then the back just has Comic-Con 2008. I know people collect Comic-Con stuff. Um, I don't know if this is something that somebody would be interested in, but I will certainly look it up and see. It's a size 2XL and it's by SoCal Blanks. So there's that. So yeah, that's kind of cool. Alrighty, what do we have here? Okay, so we have another super soft little t-shirt. It has um, folded sleeve cuffs and it just says, Sipping on gym and juice. <laughs> That's funny. Um, it's kind of a, a heathered gray. Um, and this is by Grayson Threads, size extra large. So I will look that up, but that might be $15 or $20. That's cool. I like that. Okay. Next, we have a very bright floral print something or other. Um, oh, it's that's why it's inside out. Give me a second. Doo -doo -doo. Get in there. All right. Okay, there we go. Oh, sleeve, come on, work with me here. Okay. So a very bright, springy, summery. Again, this would be good for like um, a dinner in Hawaii or something or on a cruise. Um, and this is Notations Women. And it's a 1X. So, 
looks to be in good condition at first glance. So yeah, they'll probably sell. I've heard um, like Hawaiian print and kind of tropical print stuff like this is um, gonna do really well. So fingers crossed. Oh my goodness, what, what are you? What are you? Okay, I think this is a blazer. It just, it was kind of inside out a little. Okay. Oh my goodness, hi Pippin, you scared me. Crazy little baby. What are you doing? Huh? What are you doing? A little weirdo. Okay. So this is like kind of a fuchsia, purpley, pink, um, like wide sleeve blazer jacket. This actually looks pretty nice. Um, it has these really cool buttons on it. And then um, it has, like on the inside, it has like almost like a neon yellow lining. Um, it's by George and George Me or Me George uh, Designs by Mark Eisen, 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 I don't know, size 18. Oh, my nose is just sorry. Um, so there's the tag. Um, it feels really good. Um, polyester rayon and spandex. Okay. It's actually pretty soft though. Um, and again, at first glance, it looks to be in good condition. I think there's a, a loose thread on this sleeve. Yeah, there is, but that doesn't look to be that big of a deal. Let's see there. So I can just snip that. Um, so yeah, maybe 20, $25, maybe down to 15. I don't know, I have to look it up. I know George is uh, sold at Target, I believe. Hi, Pippin. Are you just gonna watch me making my video? Yeah? Okay. Um, okay, this will probably go to donation. It's just a little um, long sleeve navy tee. And this is by Cherokee, 100% 100 cotton, size large. So yeah, that's, that'll probably go to donation. It looks to be in great condition. Hi, baby. Hi. Ooh, this looks cool. Okay, so we have here uh, Faded Glory size extra large. And it's just a short sleeve turtleneck, kind of blue and gray. That's kind of cute. Um, I'll check for, for defects and whatever, but maybe like 15 on that. It's a good little basic piece. Oop. I see more Hawaiian print. Cool. Okay, this is upside, not upside down, inside out. Oh my gosh. I don't know where my brain's at today. Okay, here we go. I'm not going to button this one up, but... Um, you can get the idea. <laughs> um, so it is a short sleeve button up shirt has this like, um, I don't mind. Um, I call it like bam bamboo leaf, I think, um, print kind of in muted colors. And this is by Pau Hana. Kalhana, Hawaii, size medium. Um, I've never heard of this brand, but I know some brands um, that do like Hawaiian prints that are actually from Hawaii um, can be worth a bit of money. Um, so I will have to look this guy up and see if that's the case here. I don't know. Oh, that's too bad. So it has... Um, it has side, um, like vented sides, and on both sides, it looks like the, like the seams have kind of come apart, you know, and it's like gone up a bit. Um, but that's probably an easy fix for a seamstress or a tailor. 
So um, depending on what the comps are like, I'll probably still list that and just, you know, take photos and um, note the, the flaws in the description. Hi, baby cat. Okay, next one. I think this is going to be another faded glory, was it? Yeah, so this is um, kind of the, the same thing as the last faded glory uh, sweater. So there's the tag, and there's that, and this is just um, like a different color combination. So this is, is that pink or red? I think it might be pink. So this is like a bright pink and gray. So. Again, it looks to be in good condition. Cute little basic. Um, so probably another maybe 15 on that. Okay, we got another Hawaiian print shirt. This is fun. Um, so this is by Saab. S USA coverage by Pair Connection Inc. Um, I've never heard of either one of those. Um, I'm gonna have to look this up, but there's the label. And it, yeah, it's just this um, fun Hawaiian print um, short sleeve button up shirt. Kind of your traditional Hawaiian print, like a sunset or sunrise and palm trees and says Hawaii and Aloha. Um, yeah, that's cool. This, this has, that's so weird. This has the same issue with the, the sides being, I think this was like intentionally done by someone. I'm wondering if they're a little more hip, um, generous in the hip area and they needed, you know, the sides to be vented more to make room for, um, for the hips and, or the bootay. Um, cause yeah, it has the issue on, on both sides. Like it was intentionally like pulled apart. Um, but again, um, depending on, on comps, um, it might get listed anyway and just noted really well and photographed. So we will see. Okay. Next we have another tropical print shirt. And this time I'm checking the vent, the vented sides first. <laughs> okay, that one looks good. Um, about the other side. And the other side looks good. Okay, so this one does not have that issue. So maybe this one's a looser fit or something. Um, okay, so this is White Stag again. It's the 1X, so 16W. And um, yeah, it's just a short sleeve kind of brown and white uh, tropical floral print button-up shirt so and it's um okay so it's it has like longer tails in the front so you can tie it so yeah that's cute might get like 15 for that what else what else still a few items left okay here we go Okay, so we have another Sag Harbor piece. This looks like this is a skirt, a floral skirt, um, size 16W. So there's that. And yeah, it's just a pretty little lined skirt. Um, yeah, that's kind of cool. Has kind of an asymmetrical um, end here on the side. Um, yeah, that looks to be in good condition. So maybe 10 or 15 bucks on that. Oh. Ooh, what are you? You're pretty. So this is by Siren Lily Women. It's 1X. I've never heard of this brand. So if you have, let me know. This is super pretty. Look at this. It has like... Um, lace going down um two strips in the front and it's really um lightweight and kind of flowy has a paisley print i like this so depending on how comps look um i might keep this for myself too that's kind of cool get no you can't go in the bag baby no no 
No kitties in the inventory. No. All right. One second. Oh, come here, little boy. So if you haven't met him, this is Pippin. He's my little, one of two rescue kitties that I have. But he's the one that's always at my feet or on my chest or in my lap or following me around. Aw, do you follow him around? Yes, you do. All right. Love you. Over there. Thank you. Okay. Sorry about that. Okay. Next. Looks like we have a, another George piece. And I think these are, again, um, from Target. Size 18. And it looks like this is just a little um, simple black, like, career style dress. And, um, yeah. So, it looks to be in good condition. So, there's no detail or anything um, with it. I think this would be a, a good piece to wear, like, a fun, like, brightly colored blazer or something with. And maybe some, like, colored pumps. Um... So, yeah, that's kind of cool. Maybe 15 or 20 on that. I don't I don't really know what George goes for. I know it's probably not a lot, which is okay. Okay, next we have a t-shirt of some description. Mm -hmm. Okay, so literally just a plain purple t-shirt. Um, eh, looks to be in great condition, so I'll probably donate this. It's by Gildan Dry Blend, size extra large. So that'll go in the donate pile. That'll be a great basic for someone. Ooh, you're pretty. What are you? Come here, friend. Okay. So this is cool. Um, so this is by John Paul Richard, who I've never heard of. Um, but it is brand new with tags. It retailed... It's called the Black Lacy Garden Skirts. Not skirt, but skirts. So I'm guessing, oh yeah, it has lining underneath. <laughs> and suggested retail price is $60. And then um, it went to Ross. So um, it's actually really pretty. So it's a plain black skirt underneath, but then the overlayer is like this crochet floral print. Or not print, but you know, floral um, design really really pretty um looks to be in perfect condition so yeah that's gorgeous um i don't know if this is like a newer piece or an older piece um it does have a website on there so it's probably within the last 20 years at least um <laughs> size medium um yeah this is really pretty i'll have to look this one up but i like that Okay, ooh, we have another piece that is brand new with tags. That's always exciting. So this is by, where'd it go? There it go. Um, this is by A Ow, A-U-W, Ow, Ow, Ouch, Owie. Okay, um, <laughs> and it has the tag from Ross. And then it has, looks like it's original tag. And it says A-U-W, Secret Charm, L-A slash N-Y. Um, and it says it was $49. Um, but yeah, it looks like a little kind of short dress with um, lace on the top and on the sleeves. And it's double layered because the top layer is um, sheer. So yeah, this is really pretty. I like this. There's the back. It's just kind of flowy and, and fun. So yeah, that's cool. Always nice to get new with tags stuff. Okay, I have a fingernail that keeps snagging. Stop it. I just clipped you. Ooh, and another item that is new with tags. And this is Corit, K-O-R-E-T. Um, do not remove this tag. Mm. I like the print on this. I'm just trying to find the top. What are you? 
Ooh, this is really cool. Okay, so are you a are you a blouse? Are you a jacket? What are you? You're pretty, but I don't know what you are. Okay, there's oh there's shoulder pads. That's fun. Okay, let me just button this up real quick so I can make heads or tails out of this gorgeous atom. Okay, there's one button. And just one more, come on. And my cat Aura has suddenly realized that she has a tail and is now attacking it. Alrighty. Okay, okay, so it's um, a blouse, size 22W, and it has this really cool um, pleated neckline. How cool is that? And it's, um, I'd say like three quarter length sleeves maybe. And just a really pretty floral print. And it does, I think it's like, you have to wear a shell underneath it because it does, um, it just has the two buttons and then the rest is open. Um, but yeah, this is really pretty and quite interesting. There's like tags all over the place. Um, one tag, two tag, and then extra button. Very cool. All right. I'll have to look this up because it there's no price or anything on it but yeah that's really pretty and it looks like last piece yes last piece and this also looks possibly vintagey um armor okay okay the sleeves are inside out that doesn't help okay one second Mm. Okay, so I'm not gonna button this up, but it's um, it's kind of an ivory or off-white blouse, but um, button-up blouse. Oh my god, I can't talk today with these cool kind of pearly buttons. And then there's a second piece that goes over it, but it's attached, um, and it's like a lacy, almost like like open vest. Um, and then it has a tie in the back so you can adjust it. So that's pretty. Um, looks like I probably need to wash it. looks like there might be some very faint discoloration, but it's hard to tell in this light. So I will get it in front of my, my photography lighting in the bedroom and, um, and I will check then, but yeah, that's interesting. Okay, so that is it. Um, I, I physically do not have the space in my apartment right now um, to accommodate all like 15 plus, you know, bags of, um, of clothing. So um, I need to figure out how to accommodate that much and what I'm gonna do, because um, it's a lot. Um, it's, if I had to guess, it's probably over 300 pieces, maybe four. I'm, I, I really don't know. I don't even know how much I just did now. But um, yeah, if you watched this video and you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe. Um, if you want to be notified when I post new content or when I go live, go ahead and hit that little bell next to the subscribe button. And 